Another way to make a little bit extra money is by using discounted gift cards. If you can get gift cards at a discount, so like, you know, a $100 Amazon gift card for $97, then you're basically getting an extra 3%. So for every $100 you spend, you're saving an extra $3. A lot of people use discounted gift cards, but I don't, so I don't have the best advice to share on it. I just stick with my Amazon Prime credit card, which gets me 5% cash back. That's fine. Way easier than finding gift cards and way less sketchy. If you're not able to get the Amazon credit card or you're international and they won't let you get it, then you're definitely going to want to take a closer look at using gift cards. Like I said, I'm not the best source of information about gift cards because I don't really ever use them. Do go ahead and do your own research and try to figure out what you want to do. The one thing you want to be aware of, though, is a lot of the time the people that are selling discounted gift cards are, like, stealing them. Like, someone will use a stolen credit card to buy a gift card and then they'll sell you that gift card really quickly at a discount before they get caught. It's an easy way for people that are using stolen credit cards to turn that into cash. And the reason they sell it to you at a discount is to, you know, get it off their hands and into yours as quickly as possible. I don't know this from personal experience, but I've heard that if you have a giant gift card balance stored up on your Amazon account and then one of them turns out to be stolen, the whole account will get shut down and you can't really use all those other gift cards uh, that you had saved in there, so you essentially just lose that money. So you want to be really careful when you're using discounted gift cards and not stock up a bunch in your account and because you, know, you might have issues with one of them which cause problems with everything, so you know, enter them one at a time as you use them up if you are going to use discounted gift cards and be very careful that the source that you're getting them from is legit. Uh, Raise.com I know is like everybody knows Raise, but Raise is a, is a good one. And there are a bunch of other ones I just haven't, like I said, I don't use them so I haven't really looked into it. I still figured that it would be useful to include this video in the course though because it's useful to know that buying discounted gift cards is an option and something that can help you get a little bit more money. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you're new to drop shipping and you're trying to figure out how to get started, I've got a full free set of training videos down there, link in the description. It goes over everything you need to know about how to get started making money online. And the average person following my method makes around around $500 to $800 profit per month after expenses for each thousand item eBay store that they have set up and running. They're really not that hard to get started. If you've got any questions about anything dropshipping related, feel free to hit me up on Facebook. I'll put a link down there as well as a link to a group that I started with hundreds of other dropshippers that you can join. I post new content on this channel every couple days, so go ahead and subscribe and click the notifications. And I'll see you back here with another video in a couple days.